So who here is ready for some summer? I thought since we are kicking off summer this week with Memorial Day weekend, that I would share with you what I would pack to go on a summer vacation. Now let's go get some sand between our toes and margaritas in our hands. Christy the Gen X Gypsy and welcome to my channel. I'm here to help us all make our midlife our best life. If you like to hear about travel, wellness, and lifestyle in your middle ages, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the thumbs up, and ring that bell so you'll be notified of videos in the future. In this video, I decided to share with you what I would pack for a vacation at the beach. In my head, I'm thinking more of a drive to the beach for a week or a long girls weekend or something along those lines. You know what I'm talking about. More on the idea that I would be driving there rather than flying there. However, this capsule is small enough that you could use it as a fly to a destination capsule and not just as a drive to a destination. <clears throat> so let's get started. I don't know about you, but I don't go out every season and buy a whole new wardrobe. So most of what I'm going to be sharing with you today is stuff that I already had in my closet. There are a few new things that I have included in here and I don't have any affiliate links at this time, but I will see if I can link them below so that you can go search for them yourself. Uh, a couple of them are from Walmart, so they're kind of nice and on the inexpensive side. Whenever I start to pack for any trip, I try to pick out a color palette to work from. It just makes it easier to do the mixing and the matching when you are traveling and you're trying to use pieces of clothing multiple times. For this particular capsule, I have gone with this mango corally color that I have been digging for the past year or so, and luckily you can find a lot of stuff in this color. And then I also went with black and white, keeping it super basic because sometimes that's just the easiest for packing. Now I want you to make sure you stay until the end because there's a couple of items that I pack for every trip that I go on, no matter if I'm flying somewhere, driving somewhere, whether it's warm or it's going to be cold. So make sure you stay to the end to see what those two bonus. Let's start with my travel outfit. Now with all of my travel outfits, my main focus is being comfortable but also looking nice enough that if we stop somewhere along the way, I don't feel like I'm looking kind of grungy. So for this particular outfit, I decided to go with a tan neutral tank top and a simple black skirt. Now, the one thing about this particular black skirt is that it does not have any pockets. I really wish it had pockets, then it would be perfect. Unfortunately, I've had this one for a while and it's really comfortable, but no pockets. And then I paired it with these Hey Dude shoes, which are, whew, they are my favorite shoes. They are so comfortable. You can wear them all day long. They've got, I don't think it's memory foam, but it certainly feels like memory foam on the soles. And they're super comfy. And I love them in this neutral leopard print. It goes with so much stuff and it also just looks very modern. I've thrown in my denim jacket because if we stop somewhere to go for lunch or something along the way and it's a little chilly in the restaurant, it gives me something to put over my arms in case I get a little cold. Because down here in the south, everyone runs their AC at full blast. Now if you're going to go on a plane, you might not want to wear a skirt and have so much leg showing or you might get a little chilly on the planes so you want to be a little more covered up. An option would be something like these joggers that I have. I got these from TJ Maxx earlier this year and they are a really nice soft knit. They do have pockets, which is perfect for if you're flying on a plane, it's always nice to have some place to stick your ID or your boarding pass or whatever you need to have handy quickly. So you could just switch out the skirt for something like these joggers and you'd be ready to go. And those Hey Dudes go great with these pants too. Next up is just a simple little outfit that you might wear for a super casual dinner, or maybe if you were gonna go out and play putt-putt or you wanted to go touring around a little town or something, it's 
basically just an outfit that's a little more than hanging out of the house kind of outfit, but a little less casual than you would like go out to dinner in. So for this outfit, I have on a pair of dark denim shorts that I've had for a while. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure I got these at TJ Maxx or Ross as well. I do shop both of those places quite often and they may be a little on the short side for some of you guys. I am short, I'm only 5'2", and I have things that I don't particularly like about my body, like all of us women do, but my legs are one of the things I do like. So I do tend to wear shorts that might be a little shorter than some of you guys might wear. Also, my legs are short, so I have a little less leg to work with. Anyway, back to this outfit. The shirt I have on, I got as a screaming deal last year at the end of the season at Walmart. It was $3. I like that it's got the little holes and a little tie on the side, and I love a V-neck. I just feel like a V-neck is really flattering at our age. This shirt is comfy, it's soft, um, but it also is pretty flattering the way that it hangs. So I really like it with these shorts. I just threw on a pair of white flip-flops that I actually just got this year from one of the surf shops here. They were only $15. They're like half the price of Sanooks and Reefs, but they're super comfortable and I like that they're white. We'll see how long they last. If I can find them online, I will link them below for you. They were $14.88, I think, at the surf shop that I got them from. And then I threw on a baseball hat just because sometimes it's nice to have a little hat on to keep the sun exposure off your face or if your hair is a little messy from being at the beach, it hides that. If you wanted to dress it up a little bit, you could take off the baseball hat and put on the straw hat and then switch out the flip-flops for a pair of wedges and it dresses it up kind of nicely for, again, if you wanted to go get cocktails somewhere. For the beach and pool, I do like to throw in a couple of swimsuits and as much as I can, I like to throw in ones that I can mix and match. For this particular trip, I've thrown in a basic black bikini and then I have also thrown in a reversible bikini that has a tropical print on one side and a bright pink on the other side. And my absolute favorite cover-up is a white, sheer, very lightweight cover-up, but it does have sleeves, so it's it kind of covers everything. Again, it shows the legs because I've already told you that's my favorite. And it has that little peekaboo stuff going down the front. I just like it. It's really comfy. I guess if you really wanted to mix and match, you could throw it on with the denim shorts if you wanted to wear it out somewhere else. I pretty much keep it only as a bathing suit cover up. I also have my straw hat and my flip flops. My straw bag that I have thrown in my sunscreen and one of my favorite beach towel blanket thingies. I'm not sure what it's called. They're uh, like a thin woven material and I just love them. They're lightweight, the sand comes off of them easily. I think I got them at Amazon, so if I can find them, I will link them below. And I think they came in a set of three. I up so small, they're really easy to take on a trip. Now you can also trade out the straw hat for a baseball hat. I don't know if you guys have the same issue I have. When I sit in some of the beach chairs, if I'm wearing a straw hat, it tends to tip forward on my head. So sometimes I'll just throw on a baseball cap instead of the straw hat because it just doesn't bug me as much. <laughs> Another option for either a beach cover up or just a casual go walk around town or do something during the afternoon outfit is this dress that I found at Walmart in the nightgown section, if you can believe it. It is so comfortable, it's super soft, it has pockets, and I just love it. You could also just wear it to hang around the house during the day if you want something comfortable to put on after you've been at the beach. You've come in, you've taken a shower, you may be a little sunburned, so this would be super comfy. You could also put the straw hat on, throw those flip-flops back on, and maybe walk down and get an ice Next break. is what I would choose to take along for going out to dinner or to go get drinks somewhere a little fancier. I did just pick up these white linen pants at TJ Maxx. They are a little see-through, but as long as you wear nude panties with them, you should be okay with not having any lines there. But I paired them with a shirt that I picked up last year, and I don't remember where I got this shirt, but I, I really do like it. I like 
the style of the way that the sleeves are cut. Again, I love that V-neck. It's that corally color that I like so much. It's just very flattering. And I paired it with these wedges that I have. It's just a very loose and comfy but dressy outfit. So it'd be perfect for, like I said, going out to dinner or Now something ready. you definitely don't wanna forget on any trip are the comfy hang around the house or hotel room clothes. You know, sometimes you're so focused on packing for the events that you're gonna go do that you forget to bring anything that just is cozy and comfy for lounging. In this case, I have on a tie-dye t-shirt that I just picked up at Target a couple of weeks ago, so those I think are still available. I have these knit shorts that have a cute little ruffle around the legs that, again, I've had those a few years. I think I got them at TJ Maxx as well, and they do have pockets, so they're super comfy, but you can get something similar to those. Let's see, actually, something similar to that are these shorts that I picked up at Walmart earlier this year. They do have a pocket. Whoops. <laughs> they do have a pocket, so again, super comfy, lightweight, knit, easy to lounge around in, really nice to have. And lastly, um, you don't want to forget your exercise outfits. If you're someone like me that likes to either walk or I'm kind of running again as I'm training for a race in September, I want to make sure that I have my running clothes with me so I can at least get one or two workouts in while I am on vacation. I love these bra tops from Sunita Athletics. I will link to them below. They have the pocket you can put your phone in on your back so it doesn't move, it's right there. If you're wearing headsets, it's easily connected. It's just perfect. The, one of the issues I run into with the pockets on the side of my hips with for my phone is that they tend to pull down. So I really like being able to wear my phone on my back. I do have these Nike shorts on and the tank top I'm pretty sure I got in Nicaragua. Just one of my regular running outfits. I always bring a couple of exercise outfits where I'm going in case they don't have a washer and dryer. And then I have options. The most important thing you don't want to forget on your beach vacation is sunscreen. I have two face sunscreens that I use on a fairly regular basis. This one is pretty new to me. I got this off of uh, Dominique Sachet. Sachet. I am so sorry, Dominique, for murdering your last name, but I do appreciate the information that you share. I think your channel is fantastic. This is the um, <laughs> this is the La, Ru La Rouche Posay Antholius 50 Mineral Tinted Sunscreen. This is what it looks like. And I started using this a couple of weeks ago and I like it okay. It's really lightweight. It's a little runny when you go to put it on. So I'm not sure how much coverage. I do feel like I got, even though it's 50 SPF, I did feel like I got a little bit of sun still when I wore it the other day. And I don't think the sun is that strong. So I will report back if I feel like it is uh, not working as well as I had hoped. So far though, I really like the way that it feels on my skin. It doesn't wear off and it doesn't wipe off on things. So that part I do like. My other favorite that I have been wearing for quite a few years now, in fact, I got it when I went down to Nicaragua and I wore it every day in Nicaragua, is this hot protection. And I will link to that below. It is another SPF 50, and both of these are mineral sunscreens, so there's no chemicals in them. One of the issues I have with face sunscreens and why I tend to spend more money on my face sunscreen is that the chemical ones get in my eyes and the eyes will tear and burn and weep for the whole day after I've put sunscreen on until I get it all off of my face. And I just, if I'm gonna wear it every day, I can't have that happening. So this hot protection is actually a compact and it comes with a applicator and it's more of a mat that you put on. Clearly, I use this a lot. And I really like the coverage that I get from this and it feels like it um, evens out my skin tone really well. I'm actually wearing it today. I put it on because I had to go run a few errands before I came back to do this. The one negative about this is it does 
tend to wipe off on things even after you've had it on for several hours. So like right now, if I were to go wipe my face with like a white washcloth or something, it would rub off. So that is the downside to this, is it doesn't get absorbed into your skin as well. But I do like the coverage and I like the color that it comes in. Also, I do feel like it gives you really good protection. Like I said, I wore it almost every day when I was in Nicaragua and I kept my face from getting burned or too tanned. I do feel like it, it did really protect my skin. You've made it to the bonus items. So these are the two items that I take everywhere I go, regardless of whether it's warm, hot, I'm flying, I'm driving, and they are a zip up hoodie. This one is a little bit more lightweight. This is a Roxy zip up hoodie that I have had for, gosh, close to 10 years, and I take it everywhere. I like this weight for summertime. It's really nice. It's also great for airplanes. And the second item is just a nice pair of medium weight leggings because you never know in the summertime where you go somewhere and it might be a little chilly and you wanna have a pair of leggings to put on. So those are my two bonus items. Thanks so much for staying to the end. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite outfit or what's your favorite thing to take to the beach. I would love to hear. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.